This is an exclusive match from Chilala. If you wanted to see this match before on my channel, you can go follow him on the dojo. But here, checking Chilala's gloves, and he's gonna fight a kickboxer. This is, by the way, you see that's Angry Teddy as the ref. So, former rivals now, they're fighting in the same promotion. So, our kickboxer, whoa, yeah, Chilala going in for a sweep. Chilala, that was a beautiful sweep from Chilala. The Muay Thai guy has a little bit longer reach, so I actually have asked Chilala about this because most people I spar are taller than me, so let's see what Chilala does to negate this guy's longer reach. Chilala got his right kick checked. They're trading jabs. Oh, do you see that? Chilala bounces from a jab trade to the knee. So Chilala going in swinging very, very very aggressively. So, until I got this kind of a long guard. Look at that. His hands are up now. He's learned. Ooh, that was a cool. Whoa, sidekick. He's learned from that fight with Chen Yuxi. So. Oh, my God. Chilala's improved a lot, man. His guard is much higher now. This is awesome. Oh, 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 Chilala trying to do some trapping. Woo! That kick would have hurt him. Chilala using some really cool Wing Chun angle to see it. Look at that. Unorthodox angles. The Muay Thai guy is getting a little flustered. Also, these helmets, man. You always see them adjusting their helmets. Chilala now... With his hands down again. Woohoo! Great counter. His hands are back low again. This is bad Wing Chun habits. There you go. His hands are back up. Go. Oh! 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 Checking with two gloves. Not the best way to check, but seems to work out. Checking with his. Woo! Whoa! That was a uh, iron face. What are you doing, Sila? What are you doing? Whoa, he played an iron face right there. Woo! Wow. Shout out to Angry Teddy for being the ref. <laughs> Chilala, look at that. Chilala's corner be like, do not play the iron face ever again, Chilala. Oh, man. That was gnarly. He just played the iron face right there. I mean, maybe he's trying to show us that he took our advice, which is do neck exercises. Remember? After his last match, we told him, do some neck exercises, man. Maybe he's like, look at me, Jerry. I'm doing neck exercises. I don't know. But um, those are his people in the corner. I don't know if Jerry. He has a instructor named Jerry. I don't know if one of them's Jerry. So there it is. Um, Francis Lamb is one of his instructors, too. Um, Gary Lamb, Wing Chun's brother, Francis Lamb in Taiwan. So, And he's got this other guy. So... Okay. Um. Ooh. So, Chilala didn't panic when the kickboxer, I'm not going to call him Muay Thai, he's calling him kickboxer. When the kickboxer, that was great. Chilala working some angles. Um, earlier, uh, the, woo, nice. The kickboxer threw a flurry of strikes, but it didn't face Chilala, so that was great. Oh, oh. It seems like getting Chilala with uppercuts is the way to go. Whoa. That... Dude, I need to rewatch this again in slow motion just to see what Chilala does. Because, so I guess that was rolled a knockdown. They're giving him a standing count. Oh, wow. Chilala's improved so much. This is awesome. So they're putting him back into that corner to... Adjust the shin pads. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here it is. Here it is. Chilala with his kind of signature Wing Chun type of thing. Oh! That was a maybe a little... 
attempt at a destruction there. He used his elbow almost in a destruction type of way. Woo! Spinning back fist. Nice! Look at the angles. Ooh, you see the uppercuts. Get him, man. Uppercut him first, then do a straight punch on him. If I were his opponent... Look at that. See the uppercut. Oh, there we go. Are you... Are you not allowed? Yeah, you can. You can. Oh, she la la clinch him back. Angry Teddy's like, this is a kickboxing match. You can't clinch and fight. Ah, oh. ooh. I definitely wish this were a Muay Thai match. So she has been eating some to the face. Ooh, yes, nice. She la getting lazy with his angles, man. Nice. That was a little bit of clinch work right there. Oh. Interesting. So, I th whoa, whoa. Our um kickboxer has noticed that if I just really press forward to Chilala, I can take him because he's kind of trying to rely on his length, his range, which is not working with Chilala being so explosive. So, if you give him the pressure, it seems like that is one of the ways to get him. So, all we've learned in this match, if you want to fight Chilala in kickboxing and you're a taller guy, Give him some pressure. Also use uppercuts. So. Shall we skip forward a little? Yes, let's skip forward a little. Here they go. Nice. Those fast Wing Chun combos. But look at that. That was Wing Chun right there. Oh, that was not Wing Chun. That was called um, overextending. Dude, this is awesome. It's funny because his opponent, being the taller guy, has his hands a little too low. He He's ate so many strikes to the face because his hands are lower. You see that? He forgets that. Just because Chilala's shorter doesn't mean my hands should be low. <laughs> nice. So, also, knees seem to be doing okay against Chilala. So, another... Advice is use knees because it seems like a lot of the punches and the standard kicks Silas seems to be able to blitz. So use your knees. So he claims it's a low blow. Angry Teddy says it's not. That was a great checking with a counter strike that Silas threw. So there we go. You see blitz forward. Keep blitzing forward, Blue. Keep there. You go, but don't blitz forward with your face. Blitz forward with strikes. So. This third round, people, they're both tired, so remember that. Nice. Low kicks seem to work. Also, since Shilala seems to block with both his hands, kick him and kick to the face after you kick to a body. But Shilala solidly in the lead. Look at that. Angry Teddy breaks up the hug. Nice, nice. Woof! Nice! Chilala's connected a few times with a spinning back fist. Oh, Chilala, don't play that on your face. So that was the end of the third round. Is this the end? This is the end. My only end, the end. Oh, we go four times the speed. Look at that. Oh, no! So, Chilala wins. Dude, look at that on the dojo. You can go four times the speed. This is awesome. So, good job, Chilala. I see some improvement. There is some reverting back to old habits, but his guard at least started out much higher. You see? Chilala's guard started out much higher. He at least had one hand close to his face. But as he kind of went on and he got tired, he kind of reverted back to Wing Chun habits. But, I mean, yes, in, in Wing Chun, you kind of... You could have this kind of like guard your center line guards. I can't say this is not from Wing Chun. But again, we know how he fought before. So I'm just going to say this hand being up is probably not from his Wing Chun training. You guys can fight me if you want and you disagree. But very impressive first round. And he really worked some of those cool Wing Chun angles. Also, look at his footwork. Look at how he adjusts his footwork. 
It's very different from your standard Muay Thai. You could almost, in boxing, it's almost like a pendulum step, right? So he almost has like a pendulum step, but applied to kickboxing. It's really cool. You see a lot of Kung Fu styles have that. Guys, this was so cool. First time we've ever watched the video on the dojo and commentary. Look at that. You can go four times the speed, which you can't go on YouTube. On YouTube, we'll only go times two. So that's a pretty cool feature. This is awesome. Look at that. It's like we're watching arts right here. Anyways, good job, Tilala. Also, good job, Angry Teddy. Go follow both of them. Angry Teddy, I think, has a YouTube channel. I will have to ask him. All right, guys. This is Fight Commentary Breakdowns. Did you see Dune, guys? The Sardaukar had the throat singing. They were like... Hark how the bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, throw cares away. Christmas is here, bring in good cheer to young and old, meek and the bold. Ding dong, ding dong, that is their song. With joyful ring, all carolling, one seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere, filling the air.